My Lucky Day by Kiko Kaza. We just had another book by him. Oh, what was the name of it? I can't remember. Oh, Ready for Anything. I wonder what lucky day this is. Hey, rabbit, someone yelled outside. Are you home? Rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I'd have eaten them for breakfast. When the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no, screamed piglet. Oh yes, cried the fox, you've come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and hauled him inside. This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on your door? The piglet kicked and squealed, let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner, it's a pig roast, my favorite. Now get into this roasting pan. Oh, the poor pig. It was useless to struggle. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but there's just one thing. What, growled the fox. Well, I am a pig, you know, and I'm filthy. Shouldn't you wash me first? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself, he is filthy. He does look pretty dirty, doesn't he? So the fox got busy. He collected twigs, he made a fire, he carried in the water, and finally he gave the piglet a nice bath. You're a terrific scrubber, said piglet. Oh, he's getting all the wood, boiling the water. There he is, scrubbing him up. He's even got a boat in there. And look at here, he had the piglet all tied up while he did everything. There, said the fox, now you're the cleanest piglet in the county. You stay still now. All right, sighed the piglet, I will, but, but what, growled the fox. Well, I'm a very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fatten me up to get more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, fox said to himself, he is on the small side. So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes, he made spaghetti, he baked cookies, and finally he gave the piglet a nice dinner. Oh, you're a terrific cook, said piglet. He's picking the tomatoes, he's making spaghetti and cookies. Oh, what a dinner. Bananas. There, said the fox, now you're the fattest piglet in the county. So get into the oven. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but what, 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 shouted the fox. Well, I'm a very hardworking pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Shouldn't you massage me first to make me more tender? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. I do prefer tender meat. So the fox got busy. He pushed and he pulled. He squeezed and he pounded the piglet from head to toe. You give a terrific massage, said piglet. But the piglet continued, I've been working really hard lately. My back is awfully stiff. Could you push a little harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right, please. Oh, yes, yes. A little to the left. Oh, is that fox working? Mr. Fox, are you there? Where did the fox go? Oh. But Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, sighed the piglet. He's had a busy day. Been the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet 
in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. What a bath, what a dinner, what a massage, cried Piglet. This must be my lucky day. Oh, he was a trickster, wasn't he? I like that one. He was a smart pig. When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Let's see, he wondered, looking at his address book. Who should I visit next? And then he has crossed out the fox. Any coyote? Next one maybe is the wolf or the bear. He's a smart pig. Look at him eat those cookies. You see the book? So he's a tricker. Oh, look who we picked to visit next. Who is it? The end. The bear. I love you.